Hello, hi, welcome back to another makeup video. I'm putting out the one brand testing video today and that brand is Fenty. This look here, I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of feel like an avatar. <laughs> it's chill, it's not about the look, it's about the product, so it's fine. But this is the look that I did to create Everything on my face right now is Fenty Beauty product. I added the pearls and stuff, just to add a little like extra something something, but it's very sort of like pinky, orangey, warm. Never normally do like pinky tones, so I thought it was about time. And also, like I said, it's just about experimenting with the products, kind of getting a little more like creative. I know the brand's been around for like a while now. Obviously she's like releasing like products all the time, but I wanted to do this video because Fenty is so hyped. Like, is this worth the mother effing hype? Or like, also it is obviously more of like a higher end brand. So is it worth you spending your coins on? You feel? Before we begin though, Riri. What a queen. Rihanna's just something else, isn't she? That, she is just such a bad bitch. I need some of that energy. <laughs> that woman can do anything. She can sing. She comes up with a makeup line that was so successful. She's a fashion icon. She's a bad bitch. Like, I don't know what my mum put in her milk when she was younger, but Jesus Christ, I need some. I'm gonna show you all the products. There are some products, obviously, that I have used. I have tested some products when the first, when the first? get it together when the brand first launched but there is a shit ton of stuff that i never tried so let's just do this let's see if fancy beauty is worth the hype and if it's worth you guys spending your money on let's go right who's ready to just get straight into this i am my skin is already prepped i've put all the like skincare on that i normally do and then my brows i haven't put any product in them but i have glued them down because i'm gonna stick to the style that i've been doing at the moment that sort of like feathery situation the products that we're using is Fenty. Shock. <laughs> it's her Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. So on one side we have the pencil. That actually looks like a really nice color. I feel like that will match quite nicely. Love the fact that it's like roll up because I ain't about to sharpen this bitch. <laughs> then on the other side it's it's like a little brush. It's actually not a spoolie. Not that I really need this brush because my blouse my blouse my blouse my brows are literally glued to my head. And when I say they're glued to my head, I mean they're glued to my head. Okay, <laughs> real quick, I'm just gonna carve out the underneath of my eyebrow just to start my shape. I always do this, it just helps me to fill in my brows. Girl, my eyebrows need a good old pluck, I can tell you that. The thing is, I get rid of the tail of my eyebrows, so anything that grows like past here, I'm just like, be gone. It grows back so quick, so my eyebrows just look like a bushy mess. But it's fine. People are probably gonna be mad that I shaved off the end of my eyebrows. I did hop on that trend. Um, listen, any problems? Speak to my lawyer. Sweet. No, no, I'd be looking a little crazy, but trust the process. I can kind of see my shape, so I'm just going to take the brow pencil and just mark out the tail. It's a nice consistency, you know. I feel like consistency you can tell straight away. Really good colour choice as well. Nice cool tone brown. I'm going to flick it through any areas that need a little more. That was well easy. For me, the thing with brow pencils, if they're too creamy or too wet, the formula's too wet, I feel like it just smudges around the place and it doesn't like last. But then if it's on the other end of the spectrum and it's like hella dry, it's just not gonna work. I really like that. And I don't use pencils on my brows every single day. So for me to actually be feeling that, tick from me. Let me zoom you in so you can see what we're working with. Doesn't that look like my normal sort of feathery eyebrow and I feel like it doesn't look too filled in. Nice formula, man. I'm feeling that. I'm happy with, do you know how easy that was as well? I was like looking a little bit like freaking out, like thinking, I need to pray to the Lord that this is not freaking. She is a brow that I'm happy with though. I am not mad at her. Honestly, fair play, man. The more I'm using this, the more I like this. This eyebrow pencil's a vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a yes from me. I feel like our next thing should be skin because I feel like Rihanna's really like, skin's her forte, you feel me? I feel like she's, like that's her focus. First things first, primer. Um, if you thought first things first, I'm the realist as well. Same, it was up in here, I just couldn't say. <laughs> I already have both of her primers in my collection. So I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte and also the Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. This matte one is probably needs to go. <laughs> probably needs to throw them in a bit. I got this when she first launched, like, mental. Let's do hydrating because I've got the soft matte foundation so I feel like this would be quite a nice base underneath that. This is also a product. I should call him. <laughs> Again this is a product I am familiar with. I have used this before. I'm really into it you know considering I have oilier skin it's still really nice. The texture of this is kind of interesting by the way. It's like, it's like a hybrid between a moisturizer and a primer. Like it's got that feeling to it. It has that thickness to it, which I like because I feel like a primer needs a little like substance to it to 
kind of stick on the skin. Do you know what? Even though I do have oily skin, still really into this primer because obviously I stick to not necessarily matte foundations, but foundations that are more aimed at my skin type. So to have a base that hydrates and just preps my skin in that sense stops me going like crazy and looking dry, you know? Listen, a primer's a primer, but for a primer, it's nice. Next up, we have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Now this is an oldie, but a goodie. This is a product that again, I bought when her collection first launched. Do you know what? I haven't picked up since. Tea. <laughs> Honestly, you wanna know why? I had the wrong shade. Mine was way too dark kind of orangey. Do you know what? I don't remember what I feel about it though, at all. Um, all I remember though is it does oxidize. So you can imagine if you go too dark and then it oxidizes on top of that, you get the idea. <laughs> Fingers crossed, I finally have the right colors. So I picked up 255 and also 290. 290 is giving me that more olivey undertone. This one's giving me a more yellow undertone. So we'll see. Let's give them a little shake. First color, 255. Ooh, that looks like a nice shade. Definitely better than what I had before. I think I had 330 before, which is mental. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to be that bitch to color match online and clearly just wasn't working. Okay, this is 290. Ooh, pretty clear difference in undertone. And I feel like I was right. This is more yellow. This is more olive. This one here, 255, looks like it matches my tan a lot better. Maybe I'll mix them. Should we do a little foundation cocking? Get a little foundation cocked down? Maybe. Mixy, mixy. Yes, I'm doing it on my moisturizer lid. Don't come for me. Sweet, let's apply her. Oh my God. I actually not remember this foundation having like that much coverage. What the hell? That's so random. I don't know what I thought. I thought it was like a medium, but that's kind of giving me like high medium, like full. As I'm blending this into the skin and it's having a second to set, it definitely is finishing on that matte side. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good. <laughs> like a little bit onto my forehead. Kind of match, I have to say, George, babes. Not to suck my own dick, but <laughs> pretty good. You know what? I think I'm going to switch over to a sponge real quick. Just want to see if I prefer, prefer, oh my God, prefer it with a brush or a sponge. Hmm. I feel like I kind of like both. <laughs> Foundation's consistency is definitely more on the thicker side. So you can use either tool. I guess it just depends what your preference is. Hmm. You know, my points are coverage. Yep. Finish, it's got that sort of satin matte. I still have a bit of glow to my skin. It's not like a dead matte, but I'm gonna keep it real. You can see I'm wearing makeup. Like you can see that this is foundation. Like I did not wake up like this type of thing, but this is Rihanna, not Beyonce. <laughs> that was gross, wasn't it? I should just, I should just leave. I'm gonna zoom in now and give you guys a close up of my skin so you can see what I'm talking about. I think the biggest area for me is around my nose. It's kind of clung a little bit and that's where I noticed you can see it. But for the rest of my skin, it looks pretty freaking good. I mean, I know this is a foundation that's been around for a while and I'm sure a lot of you know about this, but this compared to the hydrating, major difference. Like she has made them for them skin types for sure. I mean, we'll see how she wears because that's a big part of her foundation, but you know what, so far, so good. Next up on this full face is of course concealer. Never use this. And to be fair, I haven't really heard anything about it. So this is gonna be like a newbie for sure. This is her Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I got mine in the shade 190, which looks like quite a nice like neutral tone. Oh, she's kind of thick. I'm not mad at that though. I don't mind a thick concealer. A little bit here. Oh, by the way, I have a new like highlighting technique. TikTok made me do it. It's where you focus the concealer at the points you need and this will also highlight and lift your face as well. Oh, I feel like it dries quite quick. I'm gonna have to get my wrist action flowing. I always say this, but concealer under the eye, that's where we can tell the coverage. So, you know what? A little bit goes a long way. Bring her back. Okay, Riri. She'd be pulling through with the coverage. I feel like she loves her coverage, which listen, I am not complaining. Her products kind of have that thickness to them where when you put them on, like they're there. Do you know what I mean? That concealer is nice, you know. I feel like it's just, it's done what a concealer should do, but it hasn't like given me like a thick, another layer on my skin. It's just kind of melted in with their foundation and just brightened and lifted everything. Nice. That is definitely something I'd pick up and use again. What do you guys think? I'm into that. My favorite part now, cream bronzer. Just a bit of a slut for this. Right, Fenty Beauty has two types of cream bronzers. Her matchsticks and then, the other one's in my makeup bag. I use this all the time, okay, it's so good. The other thing is this. This is her Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. This little guy, game changer in the cream bronzer department, let me tell you. This is in my everyday makeup bag because it's that good, like she's that bitch, okay? The matchsticks. Let's just have a discussion. My memory of this is that I didn't really like it. I felt it was, it's quite thick. It's quite, I like something quite creamy and I remember finding this quite hard to blend out, but we're gonna give it another go. I'm doing it for Mitchell, Mama Mitchell. Hi baby, if you're watching. He uses this and it looks great. 
So I'm like, am I just being a dumb bitch? Probably. I picked mine up in the color suede, by the way, which looks beautiful. It's like that warmer toned sort of olivey yellow bronzer. <sighs> Do I have to draw it on or should we get a brush and just hmm, grab some of the product like this, I think, to be on the safe side. There she is. Hi, sweetie. Right. <laughs> Why does that look really nice? Why did I have memories of this being a bit of a biatch to blend out? Yeah, it seems to be working really nicely right now. Pop some here as well. Look, look at that. It's a really nice shade as well. I'm gonna draw it on. Just, oh, okay. I mean, it's not, oh. I think tapping my brush into it and then applying gives me time to build up. It's not as intense and not as scary. It gives me time to kind of work with the product. I used to draw it on, I think. Should I draw on it and just see what happens? For the shits and gigs, let's do it. Yeah, see the product when you do that has a bit of like pull to it. Yeah, it's a little bit harder. Like I'm having to work with it a lot more. What is this sorcery? Is the formula better or is it me? Have I like, am I better at cream contour now? I don't understand. But that looks freaking good on the skin. Do the nose real quick. Okay, what I'm thinking is if you had a gun to my head and you went right, you have to choose between the cheeks out or the matchsticks. I think I'd go for this. I think this is, it just has more of a creamy texture and blends out easier. I feel like this one is a lot more universal in the sense of like anybody can use it. I know a lot of people struggle with cream contour and it's kind of a more like scarier step to get involved with. This would be definitely the one I'd pick. <laughs> okay, this. This is the vibe, I'm excited. These are her cream blushes. So Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush. I actually think I have all of them, if not most of them here. A couple of my favorite colors, Strawberry Drip is a beautiful sort of watermelon pink. Colors like this used to scare me, but now I'm like all here for it. This is like that pop of color, which I love. This one, Fuego Flush. This is like the most gorgeous peachy, orange this one looks like it has a slight sheen to it but it just that color is just i feel like most people would gravitate towards this and then what else do i like petal popping is kind of cute this is like a like a muted baby pink oh crush on cupid as well look at her there's just a lot of nice colors and there's a load for different skin tones as well that's what i love about fenty beauty as well she caters to so many different skin like tones types i think i want to use strawberry drip because it just looks nice. <laughs> I've never even swatched these, let alone try them. Should I give it a little cheeky swatch? Mm. That turns me on. <laughs> that bled it out like an absolute dream. And look at that color. Like, I know it looks bright in the pan, but look at it on the skin, it's beautiful. It's melting in with the bronzers, which is fab. You know when a product starts to do the work for you? That's this. These new products, she is... Tariri. I get layering time as well. I mean, I love my blush, so I'm gonna layer in and I kind of want this to be a very like blushy, bronzy look. I'm gonna pop it in my temple as well. I love that look when everything kind of just like is seamless together, but that color, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Honestly, if I was a boy, I'd be hard. Just <laughs> This makes me excited to dive into the other colors. Do you know what I mean? Cause I love this one so much. Yep, that is, these are a big fat yes from me. In fact, I'm gonna put one of these in my everyday makeup bag right now can we just take a moment oh just to look at how that is on the skin can you see how it's just melted in and it just there's no harsh edges no nothing so far so good but i do of course need to get saying because this concealer is starting to crease <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i feel like it's starting to like self-set which isn't my favorite thing because sometimes that can start to look a little cakey probably should have set this earlier this is a product that i already had in my makeup collection this is her pro filter instant retouch setting powder and mine's in the shade butter i think this is a popular shade to be fair um, yeah, this is a really, really nice powder. Get a lot of product as well. Just pick it up on my sponge. Gonna press it with my sponge. This um, powder, by the way, has a really nice smell. I know it's really random, but... Go underneath those cheekbones. So we can fake it till we make it. I'm gonna set the rest of my face really, really lightly. I don't want to take away any, like, colour saturation. For some reason, I've gone a little bit, like, patchy here. Do you know what, though? I think that's my fault. I should have set this concealer, like, instantly. It's chill. It's chill. It's chill. It's fine. Okay, so we are powdered up. I think I managed to like somewhat save that. <laughs> Guys, all I can say is set that concealer. It's a thicker concealer and it starts to like self-set. So if you don't then set it with powder on top and you're trying to blend like other cream products and that on top of it, it is gonna start to like look a little weird. I mean, my nose here still looks a little like, <laughs> but I think I was lucky and managed to save it. So, and breathe, we're fine.
we're fine. Right, time to get onto the powder products. So, she doesn't have a powder blush, but she does have a powder bronzer. Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. I've got mine in Beige and Gal and Private Island, as you can see. These are well loved. Um, so these are definitely something that has been in my makeup collection for a while. This bronzer. A star. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Beige and Gyal, which is the more sort of like warmer toned one. Here she is. And let's just hit my usual spots. So that's kind of forehead, cheeks, chin, that sort of area. I mean, I don't really need like a lot, so I've kind of, I'm going for more of a blushy look today. I just wanna kind of intensify what's already there. Adding a little something something to my nose. Just going over that existing sort of like contour that I did with the cream bronzer. I mean, I'm sure you guys know about this bronzer to be fair. I really like it. <laughs> You guys have seen me use this bronzer like a million times. It's great. They blend out beautifully. They work well with other products. Yeah, it's a bronzer that I like pull out of my collection a lot. Mm, she doesn't actually have powder blushes, I don't think. I mean, I'm pretty blushy anyway, so it's chill, but it kind of looks like I've highlighted, doesn't it? I haven't. Do you know what as well about these um, cream blushes is I'm slightly powdered, but it's still blending out beautifully. I think it's because it's not like a wet cream, so it's not separating or anything. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more, just a little bit. Probably don't need to, but here we are. Last, but by no means the least for the skin. I have a couple of her highlighting products here. So these are her Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. Well, this is her highlighter duo. And then this one is just her Freestyle Highlighter. So this is the combo of Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, which looks like this. I've never used this color combo. It's kind of like, like nude, like a nude pinky tone. One softer, depends what your vibe is. I think I wanna use this though, because Oh, it just looks gorgeous. This is her Killer Watt highlighter in what? Ooh, that scared me then. I thought the product fell out. It was just that. <laughs> Look at this color. This is in What A Brat. I'm sorry, but not only does the name give me life, but that color is giving me oh, that on top of the blush. Do you know what I mean? Are you feeling it too? Oh girl. It definitely is more on that like glittery side highlighter, but I don't mind. It's a dramatic shade, so I feel like it just adds to the drama. <laughs> Dip her in. Right, well, if I weren't looking glowy before, well I am now. Jeez, that is intense. Blimey. If you're not into glittery highlighters, I'm not sure this is gonna be your vibe because you can definitely see it on the skin. Pretty glittery, but the thing is, right, it doesn't look mental on the skin, as in I would walk out the house like it. It's not ill. You know what I mean? I could feel comfortable to do that, so that's when I know it's not. Oh my God, that is... She, she didn't come to play. Just going over the top with my blush brush. I have actually used a Fenty highlighter before, but obviously it was more of like a, you know, like a normal. This is something else though. Like this is on like, this is that on drugs. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm gonna go in with the highlighting duo, kind of mix the two shades and just dust. Oh, look at that. Now this is more of your everyday norm formula and shade. It's just made my forehead look wet. I think we're here now. You know what? This is gonna be a glowy look. I've decided. I mean, listen. Uh, creds where creds are due. Her highlighters are definitely highlighters. Right, I think that is all the skin products that I have to test out. Come in, come in, come in. <laughs> Here is my skin close up so you can see everything. I think it looks beautiful. It's very sort of like fresh looking and glowy, but still like makeup. Do you know what I mean? Everything's covered and looking like, but it just, I don't know. I feel like everything's quite enhanced and my nose is the only place that's a little weird. But apart from that, I feel like everything looks beautiful. Okay, Fenty. Pulling through with the skin, but can she pull through with the eyes? Let's find out. I feel like Rihanna and Fenty Beauty have just kind of started exploring in the eye world. When it comes to eye makeup, I feel like they've started to expand and stuff. So I feel like they're still working on it, but I did manage to pick up this. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is tiny. Way smaller than I thought it would be, I'm not gonna lie. This is her Snap Shadow Mix and Match eyeshadow palette. I picked mine up in deep neutrals, which are just full of, well, deep neutrals. We've got four mattes and two shimmers in here as well. Do I think it's anything out of this world and different? No. You know, people are gonna pick this kind of thing up and actually use it, so. Should I give these a little swatch? Okay. 
nice before i go in and play with this i do just want to do this little thing that i've seen mitchell do i know okay yes i'm licking his asshole i don't care <laughs> on his instagram i've seen him use these concealers as sort of bases to your eyeshadow kind of creates shape and just adds a bit of like depth and stuff and i feel like that's actually a really cool idea i'll stick it in here so you can see what i'm talking about but he kind of like wings out his shadow and it kind of blends in his eyeshadow into his like face colors so his blush and his bronzer i feel like it just like takes the eyeshadow to that like next step and i feel it's really flowering so i'm gonna do the same because i'm original i picked up two shades of the concealer 390 and 460 starting with 390 i'm just gonna apply it up the product with the brush i feel like tapping it first kind of picks up any excess products and, and stops it like going all over your face like look at that where it's a cream it's just blended straight into my blush and my bronzer i'm then also gonna take Hello. People will always be wanting me. Guys, chill. <laughs> Let's put some of that color right in this inner corner as well. Now I'm gonna be brave and take the darker one. No idea what's going on right now. Let's just blend onto the lid and kind of into that other color we just put on. Kind of just like intensified what we already had. Concealer as eyeshadow. This could be a new like thing. This could be a new move guys. Tiny bit into this inner corner as well. Look at that, what that's done. How much like depth that has added compared to this eye. Do you see that difference? That is mental. Okay, now that I kind of have this smoky base going on, I think I want to, if I can open it. There we go. I'm gonna dip into the orange. This one here, what's this called? Fight Fear Freak with a really light pressure. I'm gonna start to blend color in really bring it back into the temple here i just want to really like warm up the look do you know what i mean i might even take a tiny bit of the purple but only a little bit because it's quite dark and add that in whoa that is pigmented holy shit <laughs> i'm now mixing the orange and the dark brown in the palette so no fudge given and fire freak putting that on the lid just to like intensify it even more do you know what though i have to say these shadows are blending out like a dream considering like i'm just mishmashing a bunch of shades on my eye i feel like they've blended together like nicely and it's just kind of like worked out do you know what i mean shall we go in with this shade what is this heaven sent sent like dollar though love that of course i expect nothing less from riri oh my god i haven't wet that to intensify it nothing Like a pinky, like, oof, I don't even know how to describe that, but it's beautiful. I'm hoping the camera is like picking up how nice that is, like how nice that's catching the light. Also, I've just noticed fallout is a minimum. Oh, real quick, I just want to highlight my brow bone and take her highlighter. I don't really know what's going on with my face right now, but something's happening. Hmm. Can someone please tell me why I kind of want to stick some pearls on? Obviously, they aren't Fenty's, but I kind of just want to stick some pearls on. To just like take the look up a notch. I have these that I got from Amazon. They're like pearl trays. It's like loads of different sizes. Shall I? Can I? Will I? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna go ahead. I'll speed for it just because you'll see where they are in the end. I'm not gonna do anything crazy and complicated. I'm just gonna have a play around, see what I come up with. I'm actually gonna go and do the other eye as well. And then I'll be back and we can do the rest of the eyes. Hello, I'm back. This is kind of what we're working with. <laughs> I feel like an avatar. Oh my god, avatars have all these dots, don't they? We all know that lashes complete a look, so fingers crossed, it all kind of like comes together, right? Mascara and lashes, so Fenty does actually have a mascara. This is her Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. The amount of good things I've heard about this mascara is crazy. And I feel like you don't hear people rave about mascaras a lot. Do you know what I mean? I feel like so many people are into falsies these days that it's not like a big deal. But I've heard good things about this, so... Of course, I'm gonna stick on lashes. We can still see how this performs. Bearing in mind, I'm not curling my lashes or doing anything fancy. I'm just gonna use this mascara as it is to see how good it is. I feel like the wand is flat. Oh my God, the wand is flat. You know, like normally a mascara wand is round all the way around. Can you see? It's like flat. That's so interesting. I mean, first thing I notice how black that is not clumping up my lashes either i mean i'm not really a mascara gal because i rely on my falsies a lot but i like this mascara i feel like it's really intense black it's nice if you're just wearing mascara anyways but also nice if you're wearing falsies because i feel like they're blending nicely the only unusual thing is having a flat wand i notice you can feel it oh darn it got some mascara up there 
Fuck you. Good. But like, I actually look more alive, more like human. Time to stick on some full C's. I think I'm just gonna stick on my Tarty Lashes TL3s, I think they're called. Okay, so the final thing to do is lips. I have two options. That's four. So I picked up a nude combo and a red because I didn't know what look I wanted to do. So just kind of like rolling with it. The red is her Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored. I'm not gonna lie, this color red looks like the perfect shade of red. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not too like purpley pink. It's not too like blue. It just looks great. I actually wanted to pick up, what was her liquid lipstick called? It was Unbutton, the nude. That looks beautiful, but that was out of stock. So for the nude, I actually went for these. These are her plush matte lipsticks mademoiselle i think they're called i picked up two shades i got up to no good and pumpkin rose one's an orange and one's like a nude pink so i'm thinking i don't know what to do i could maybe try both and then see which one I like best or what one you like best that way we're trying out both formulas as well i'm just gonna start by lining my lips with a red lip liner just to keep everything within the lines and less messy also doesn't this look like um nail polish <laughs> like the packaging Ooh, kind of smells it's like a hint of vanilla, but nothing crazy. Mm, that color is gorgeous. The formula is that, you know that really thin liquid lipstick? I like that though, because then it feels less like drying on your lips because you can't really feel it. Love this applicator. Did you see how quick I just did that? With this applicator, I can get really like precise straight lines. Really pretty red. It's got like a slight hint of cherry in there. Like it's not that like really cool toned like red, which is my favorite, but I still feel like it's a beautiful color. Liquid lipsticks, you always know through like wearing them from out the day, but just like first impressions and how it is, nice. To be fair, my favorite thing about it is the applicator. <laughs> so this is the red option. Now let's do nude. Love a good nude, me. Okay, right, let's do the nude. Just like canceling out the redness. Line them real quick. Starting off with pumpkin rose. Ooh, pop off sis. shade oh yes so it's like straight up just like orange like a pumpkin orange this formula mm. Mm -mm -mm. i feel like i'm already going to prefer this to the liquid lipstick and then this is up to no good which is more of like a pink toned nude blend that into the middle i mean first of all this color combo gets a big fat yes from me that is beautiful but the formula of these is right up my street it's a matte but it's creamy i love these I love these. You know the one thing I want to do? You know the one thing I want to do? I'm going to take Fuego Flush Blush, which is the orange. I feel like we need a little more like orange on the cheeks now that I've got like more orangey on the lips. Oh yeah. That was what that needed. I do actually have the Fenty Gloss Bomb as well. This is her Gloss Bomb in Diamond Milk. Honestly, this was a repurchase because I love this gloss. Um, I think because everything's quite glowy, I'm going to keep the lips more matte, but so glossy, long lasting. They smell amazing as well. And she's got quite a few colors now. I just want to give the Gloss Bomb a shout out because honestly, this is such a good gloss. Bitches, we are back. We are done. This is the like final situation. Not obsessed with the look, but I have to say some of these products. I'm gonna just run through everything real quick. Her skin products, she just knows what she's doing when it comes to skin. I'll make this quick, the primer, really like. It doesn't really like change much to my skin though, but like it's a nice primer. The foundation, really, really nice. It's definitely more of a foundation if you don't mind looking like you're wearing makeup. But having said that, so nice. Concealer, love what this concealer's about, but set this bitch. <laughs> set it before you do anything powder's lovely it does what a powder should do it sets everything mattifies it and locks it in the cream blushes i don't even need to speak about it yes cream bronzer stuff again i love these especially the like pot cream you need this in your life highlighters amazing especially if you're someone that likes to be glowy and hoey this is going to be for you the mascara is a really really nice mascara if you're into your mascaras sweet eyeshadows and their formula fab don't have a bad word to say about them i had no problem whatsoever it is a little small though good for traveling i guess but I just think for the price, it is a little expensive, but these lipsticks, the like matte creamy ones are a big fat yes from me. I'm going to be putting these straight in my makeup bag, so I think that covers most things. There is an Fenty Beauty product that I've tried that I don't like. There's things that I will reach for more regularly than others, but the fact there's nothing that I put on and I was like, we need to wipe off and start again is fab. If you want to know my like absolute like must-haves, in the description box below, I'm going to write all the products and the ones that I just think like, like yes, purchase. I'm going to leave a little star by, that way you guys know that that's what I think of that. Do you know what I mean? That is it from me. So happy this video went good.
thank you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like one brand videos, like the video, let me know down below as well. As always, I'll be chilling in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you soon. Mwah.